तो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई YouTube चैनल आई होप यू गाइज आर डूइंग ग्रेट एंड टूडे इज वीडियो आई एम गोट टॉक अबाउट हाउ यू कैन यूज दी मेक ह्यूमन एड ऑन एंड हाउ यू कैन क्रिएट वेरी हाई क्वालिटी करेक्टर विद क्लॉथ एंड विद अदर स्टफ एज वेल ओके एंड एट दी एंड आई विल ऑल्सो टॉक अबाउट हाउ यू कैन इम्पोर्ट योर मेक ह्यूमन करेक्टर इन टू ब्लेंडर सो मेक श्योर यू वॉच दिस टूटोरियल टेल एंड सो नॉल स्टार्ट दि टूटोरियल फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू शो यू फ्रॉम वेयर यू कैन डाउनलोड दिस मेक human add on and which is totally free you can use it there is no extra cost of this application basically what you have to do you have to just go to your browser and here you can see i am already in a make human website and i will also share this download link into the description so make sure you just check the description after this video so you have to just click this download button and here you will see uh, some option basically so you need to just download the stable release 1.2.0 and after that you will see something like that basically so all right guys here you can see this is a basic interface of the make human so first of all we have some options here basically so we'll just discuss about each option one by one so first option basically guys is the main okay so first of all you can define what you want to make basically you want to make a male you want to make female basically okay so you can define from here what you want to create basically so i'm just want to create male basically okay from here you can define the age as well so here you can see if you want to just decrease this slider so you will see the baby basically and if you just going to increase this slider so you will get the very old man okay so i'm just going to keep it in between here basically if you want to create muscles so you can just create a muscles if you don't want to create muscles you can just create without muscle as well okay from here you can increase the weight and decrease the weight as well that's very customizable basically you can also increase and decrease the height you can also decrease the proportion of the body here you can see and you can also create uh, which reason human you want to make basically okay so here you can see if you want to create african so you can just increase it and if you want to create asian so you can just increase it fully okay so this is very basic and main options and at the second we have a uh, some option basically if you select the female so you can just define the breast size you can just increase and decrease all of stuff here you can see basically and third thing we have basically face so from here you can just define what kind of face you want you can just change the angle if i'm just going to zoom it a little bit so you can see easily here you can see so you can just define the angle of your face you can just manage if you want oval and sharp as you can see if you want to create a round head you can create a rectangle as well okay so there are lots of face preset as well okay and there is some torso feature as well you can see if you want to increase the depth basically so you can increase the depth if you want to scale it horizontally and vertically you can do from here so there are lots of options you can just try it manually okay there are also some arm options you can if you want to increase the distance between your fingers you can do here if you want to change the diameter of your fingers you can change from here okay and also we have some random effects as well and and you have also custom effect as well if you want to create by yourself so you can just create it okay but right now in this video i'm not going to do this so first of all here you can see we have all set basically so now i'm just going to move it into our geometry section basically so all that guys here you can see on my right hand side we have a lots of cloth stuff here and there are lots of icons you can see and if you want to see how it's look like into our model so you have to just double click on this icon and it will automatically generate the cloth for our model basically and here you can see that's look nice that's look cool basically and this is look fabulous by the way so now what i'm gonna do i will also add the shoes into our character so you can see i'm just gonna double click so you can see we have a different kind of shoes option as well here you can see so i think this is look nice yeah and we can also add the head if you want yeah i think head is also look nice that's look great by the way so all that guys here you can see we all done with the uh, dressing also so now i'm just going to switch into a next step so here we have a material options as well here you can see if you want to change the textures of your model so you can change from the here by the way what do you need to do you have to just zoom it a little bit and i'm just gonna add the uh, one face here basically so i think i should use basically this one so yeah that's look nice we can change it if you want so we can use this one as well yeah this look nice to me 
yeah all right so that's so nice so all right guys here you can see our model is completely done we have a good cloths we have good uh skin tone as well so now i'm just gonna import this whole model into the blender okay and one more thing guys i just want to tell you if you want to add the any kind of pose into your model so you can just switch into the pose and animate options and after that you have to just change this skeleton as a pose so right now here you can see on my left and right hand side you can see lots of poses here so whatever pose you want you can just double click and it will automatically create for you so for example i just want this uh, this pose basically so now here you can see we have this pose this look nice by the way here you can see this is look nice cool i just gonna change this so here you can see this is also look nice we can create a fly pose wow that looks super cool so i like it by the way this one i'm just gonna use this one as well i think this one is look more cool so I'm just gonna keep it this pose. This look nice to me. And uh, here we have uh, other options as well. You can just define whatever uh, pose you want. You can just uh, filter from the here. Okay, so right now it's showing all poses. So if you want only action poses, so you can just select here. So it will show only action poses. And if you want the uh, sitting pose, so it will only sit, show you only sitting pose. So you can just filter your uh, poses from the here if you want. And we have some expression as well. Okay, so you can see we have a uh, lot of expression here you can see and if you want to filter these expressions so you know that you have to just click here and you will see only those expression which is you will select from the here by the way yeah that's look nice so right now i don't want to change the any kind of expression of my model so i will just keep it by default and now everything look nice to me i'm just going to import this whole model into the blender and let's see how it look like when I will import this blender so for importing this model into blender so first of all we need to just select our file option and here you will see uh, one export option basically you need to just click this export make sure you just select your exporting extension as a colada okay you need to just click this colada and after that you need to just add the location where you want to import this basically so I'm just going to define my location so all right here I just want to export my model basically so i will just uh, add this pose name as a fly yeah i think that's so nice i'm just gonna save it and after that i will just click this export button so it will take little time and now i'm just gonna switch into my blender so all right guys here you can see now we are in blender all right guys so now we are in a blender and i'm just gonna import that model which is we have created into a make human software basically so let's do it so first of all i'm just gonna select everything and delete everything because we don't want anything apart from that character basically so i will just go to my file i'm just going to importing section and here i will just select this colada default dot dea extension basically i'm just going to click it okay and after that i'm just going to locate my file so all right here you can see i have saved my file here basically so i'm just going to click it and then i will just click the import colada so all right guys here you can see we have a whole model with the pose as well and now let's see if we got texture or not i'm just gonna switch into my material preview and let's see what happened yeah so all right guys here you can see we have a texture as well and which is look nice by the way we have perfect textures now what i'm gonna do i'm just going to switch into my rendering mode and let's see how it look like into render mode as well yeah cool everything look nice to me and we have a great texture quality as well yeah that's look nice by the way okay let's take a uh, one render and let's see how it look like i'm just gonna add the camera and i'm just gonna select this pose basically something like that and i will just press the f12 all right guys here you can see we got perfect pose and perfect texture as well one things i'm gonna miss this in whole body that is the eyes texture basically which is i can't see properly so i think we need to add the manually into these eyes basically so let's select these eyes and go to the shading panel and let's see what we can do with the eyes basically so here you can see we have a eyes texture but we can't see so maybe this is because of the uv editing so we can just press the a and we'll just press the u and we'll just do the project from the view so all right here you can see we got detection now so we need to just go to our uv reading section and we need to define the textures from the whole basically so i'm just going to my front view and i will just switch into my material preview so i'm just going to select first one 
I will just scale it something like that and we'll just place this here by the way and we need to scale it down yeah all right so you can see we got eyes that's look nice same thing we'll do this second eyes as well I'm just gonna scale it and I'm just gonna keep it here and scale it down all right guys so you can see now we have eyes as well and let's see take one and the render and let's see how it look like basically yes cool so now here you can see our model is looking perfectly nice basically and that's how you can use the make human add-on that is totally free you can just customize your character whatever your desire and after that you can just import your character into blender and you can just do whatever you want to with this character so all that guys that's it for this tutorial i hope you learned something new today and if you learn something new today so make sure comment down below and give your good feedback i'm waiting for your feedbacks so thanks for watching this video guys if you learn something in this video please hit the like button and the share button and the subscribe my channel also if you have any queries if you have any session please let me know in the comment box i will definitely reply comment so bye bye take care and stay home guys